My goal is to record video on a BlackBerry Curve 8310. This requires an upgrade to operating system 4.5. First we start by downloading the desktop software version 4.6. You want to make sure you have the latest. Available from BlackBerry.com really doesn't have much to do with your particular BlackBerry. Um, it really has to do with the software on the desktop. So we go through that download process. Without the uh, media manager, we're still talking about 90 megabyte download, so that does take some time. Having installed the software and now running it um, on the desktop, you see I'm attempting to connect to the uh, through the USB, determining what applications are currently available to install on my Curve. The um, current operating system on my Curve is version 4.2, uh, the standard version. Uh, available at AT&T but what you'll notice is there's no software available at this time so let's go get that software download Vodafone Ireland I found this is a multilingual support um, put out by Vodafone obviously AT&T is not going to support this activity but we're gonna go ahead and download that pretty significant download as well about 80 megabytes we want the uh, version for my phone 8310 and we confirm that we're talking about package version 4.5.052. We'll go ahead and complete that download. And that, again, can take quite a bit of time. But it does a separate download. And at this point, we haven't, while our BlackBerry is connected, we haven't changed anything. We're going to go ahead and run that file. And what it's doing is basically um, installing the operating system components to the desktop manager so that the desktop manager can then apply that to your handheld. Completing that installation process. Again, a reminder that at and is not going to uh, be very happy if you call them to try to support this software. But uh, at least we can get ahead of the curve. Another step you want to consider here is to go to the C drive, <clears throat> program files, common files, research in motion, app loader, locate the vendor.xml file and simply delete it outright. I'm not entirely sure what this step uh, accomplishes, but I read that it is a, uh, a valuable step. We want to make sure that we don't have any conflicting vendor support. Now when we launch the desktop manager, and I'm disregarding my integration with Outlook for the time being. But now when we go to the uh, desktop manager and look at the application loader, we will see that version 4.5 has a whole series of applications that are now available for update. When I choose update now, it connects to my BlackBerry. I enter my password. And this process can take anywhere from 30 to 60 minutes uh, once you continue. The list you see is quite significant. Uh, if I were to choose the advanced option here, I think I can turn on and off different features that will help you optimize the uh, install time. But for now, I'm just going to choose next, and which includes everything. And here you can see the list of all the things that are going to be included. Um, again, had you, I gone back and chose the advanced tab, I can turn on and off those features that I uh, would like or don't want, which will save you time in the long run because you don't need all that information on your BlackBerry. Now that I chose finish, it's going to start applying all these changes to the handheld. I'm working through a USB connection with the handheld. Uh, that take Again, that can take some significant amount of time. You'll be asked to enter your password multiple times if you have one. And that completes the process. So now when I check the application loader and add remove programs, and reconnect to the handheld, what you'll notice is that there is a whole series of applications that have been installed. I can now go back and turn off the ones I don't want. And it'll once again apply those settings. Again, had you chose the advanced button along the way. So here's the proof. Um, in the middle of my screen, you'll notice it now reads video camera. And this is, of course, an AT&T BlackBerry Curve 8310. And so here we are preparing to take a video of, uh, of my computer screen. It's rather intuitive. Uh, you can tell from the red button here that we're just going to click on the trackball, which will start recording. And audio is being recorded as well at the moment. And by choosing uh, pretty much any other button, it's going to save the video to a, a collection. And so here we can view those videos just like you would view pictures. And you can choose one and send as an MMS, excuse me, MMS. 
I was surprised to see that the send via email is not an option at the, at the moment on this list, but I'm still exploring whether or not that's possible. I hope you enjoyed this and good luck.